According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, distracted driving was the cause of roughly 424,000 accident-related injuries and 3,154 fatalities in 2013 alone. As this data comes from only incidents reported to the police, the exact number is likely higher. In today's world of information overload, it is easier than ever to become distracted while behind the wheel of a vehicle. As a professional driver, you are expected to block out and ignore these distractions in order to ensure not only your own safety, but also the safety of the general public. Types of Distraction The various forms of distraction that will affect a driver are grouped into three categories. Cognitive Distraction visual distraction, and manual distraction. Cognitive distraction. Cognitive or mental distraction is when a driver's mind isn't focused on driving. Even when a driver's eyes are on the road and hands are on the wheel, sources of cognitive distraction cause significant impairments to driving, such as suppressed brain activity in the areas needed for safe driving, increased reaction time, decreased visual scanning of the driving environment. Driver interactions with in-vehicle speech-to-text systems create the highest levels of cognitive distraction. Simply put, hands-free does not mean risk-free. Even drivers listening to their favorite podcast or radio station are at risk. The audio can take drivers' focus away from their driving and overall surroundings. Examples of cognitive distraction include talking to another passenger, thinking about something that is upsetting, road rage, and daydreaming. Drowsy driving can also be considered a form of cognitive distraction, but it is typically regarded as a separate problem of its own. Visual distraction. Visual distraction occurs when a driver looks at anything other than the road ahead. Electronic devices in the vehicle, such as GPS devices and portable DVDs or digital entertainment systems, also distract drivers. Examples of visual distraction include looking for items on the floor of the vehicle, checking and adjusting your GPS, changing the radio station, adjusting your temperature controls, or taking in the view. Manual Distraction Manual distraction is when the driver takes one or both hands off the wheel for any reason. Some common examples include eating and drinking in the vehicle, adjusting the GPS, or trying to get something from a wallet, purse, or backpack. Examples of manual distractions include eating and drinking, smoking, searching through your wallet or purse, turning knobs in your vehicle, or using a CB radio. Texting while driving. You may have noticed that some activities fall under more than one of the distracted driving categories. These activities are extra dangerous as they tend to take more attention away from your driving than distractions that fall under only one category. Texting while driving is an especially dangerous habit as it falls under all three types of distracted driving. While texting, you are distracted visually, as you look at your phone rather than the road and vehicles around you, manually, as you type your messages rather than keep your hands on the wheel and ready to react, cognitively, as you concentrate on your conversation rather than the situation unfolding in your driving environment, texting, as defined in the new FMCSA regulations, means manually entering alphanumeric text into or reading text from an electronic device. This includes pressing more than one button to initiate or terminate a call or texting on a dispatching device. The FMCSA also issued a separate rule that defines using a mobile device as using at least one hand to hold a mobile phone to make a call, dialing a mobile phone by pressing more than a single button or reaching for a mobile phone in a manner that requires a driver to maneuver so that he or she is no longer in a seated driving position restrained by a seatbelt. What this means for a truck driver is that with the exception of contacting law enforcement or in an emergency, texting or dialing or phone calls needs to be hands-free. 
any hands-free device needs to be located in close proximity to the driver. Dispatching Device and GPS Many trucking companies have been moving towards versions of hands-free dispatching devices for some time, and many are available with combined GPS systems. Some will only display a short message until the driver stops to read the rest, and some will just give off a beep until the truck is parked. Drivers are technically prohibited from using handheld devices while stopped at a traffic light or in some other kind of traffic delay, but are allowed to use them if safely pulled over to the side of the road. Distracted Driving Laws All provinces and territories in Canada, with the exception of Nunavut, have some form of distracted driving and or handheld device law in place. Pause the video to examine the chart of current Canadian fines and demerits based on province or territory. In the United States, there are still many states which have not, for various reasons, banned texting while driving, or even distracted driving in general. Therefore, any driver engaged in interstate commerce is subject to the FMCSA distracted driving rules regardless of what state they drive out of or are driving in. Penalties for truck drivers caught driving while distracted. Drivers can be fined up to $2,750. Repeat offenses will result in the driver being disqualified or put out of service for up to 120 days. The driver's employer can be fined up to $11,000 if they knowingly allow or require drivers to use handheld devices while driving. Violations will negatively affect the employer's SMS ratings. Violations are considered serious traffic violations and penalties are taken from existing FMCSA guidelines. Two serious traffic violations within a three-year period will get a driver disqualified for 60 days, while three violations in three years will put a driver out of service for 120 days. Additionally, drivers will be subject to hefty civil fines. The penalties for using a handheld device while driving are in addition to whatever the driver's employer dishes out for violating any of their particular policies on the subject, many times including termination. Most employers will have policies in line with the laws as distracted drivers who cause a wreck while operating under the company flag are lawsuits waiting to happen. Avoiding Distractions While Driving Keep the following in mind to help you drive distraction-free. Stay calm. Anxiety and stress can be a big distraction. Take deep breaths and keep your focus on the road. Pull over. If, for whatever reason, you can't seem to keep your focus, find a safe place to pull over and take a break. Avoid pulling over on the side of a busy street or in dark and isolated places. Know your dials. This is especially important when you are driving a new tractor or a tractor you are not used to driving. Get to know the tractor's controls before you start driving. This will help minimize distractions in cases where you must use one of the controls. Use your radio presets. Most stereos allow you to preset stations so that you only have to press one button to hear what you want. Make adjustments before you start driving. These include mirrors, seat, and the steering wheel. Stay off your phone. Cell phone use, whether for texting or talking, is a huge distraction. Put your phone away and do not let yourself use it until you are out of your vehicle. If needed, there are smartphone apps that will help keep you from driving distracted. Be rested and satisfied. If you are going for a long trip, make sure you have had plenty of rest, food, and drink. Remember to factor meal times into your schedule so that you don't feel pressured into eating while driving to make it to your destination on time. Set your GPS before you start driving.